bit. Yeah. Show me the show me the feet and tell how much it cost. Barber jacket, one hundred dollars. No, it was like thrift store, so under twenty probably. A Gucci suit, the both pieces. Both pieces that don't match, yeah. Um, thrift store, so like six dollars. Yard sale or thrift store, I don't remember. So probably also like six dollars. Mm -hmm. Great grandmother, free. <laughs> Yeah. And your turn? What is it and how much it costs? For such jacket. For such a jacket. <laughs> how much? I don't even remember. A lot. A lot. Sweater, pants, I don't remember. Uh, shoes. Oh yeah, I didn't do my shoes. These are my mommies. So free! <laughs> We're going to see the museum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big fluffy dog. <laughs> and a hole in the ground with some metal in it. And the sun sphere. And then one big strode. Hell yeah. And a parking lot. Look at these two spots. Bunch of gravel. I've got another flower for you. Little blue one.
These are cool. They're fifth graders. The second grade kindergarten. That means this is the best room in the museum. The alpha from the card game. Yeah. It's really Inscription? Cool. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's angry. We got the Dookie Cupcake. Look at these. Miniatures are so cool. It's like a tiny house.
Put it into words of music, it's more just like a feeling. Was it, uh, I guess, I don't know, man, it's just from the outside looking in from the DC area, it seems like it ought to be intimidating. You know, was it? <laughs> intimidating yeah. from what perspective? From the perspective of you're a creator, you're a musician, you go outside and you see world class musicians just walking up and down the street. It, it felt more communal in that way as well. So they were mentoring you and they were pushing for sure. Like I remember once I went to a, a, a performance of a mentor of mine who was playing and he invited me to join him on stage unannounced and he didn't tell me what we were gonna play. And we started playing and the music gradually sped up to the point where it was so fast that I couldn't play. And he walked off stage at that point and was like, it's your solo. <laughs> so there's people who have this sort of hazing tradition of mentorship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's those people. And you know, that's probably how most of the time it comes from, that's how they learn how to play. And then they power trip it. But other than that, it's more of a, it's, it's like a, a tribal mentality. Mm -hmm. And if you respect the traditions, they want to pass them on to. Thank you. 
They've built the paper stacks into the corners of the table. Mm. We can, I'll show you when we get there. I'm 16 and in a constant fight there are days in which he wins. Days in which my body is too weak to handle the continuous trauma. Days in which I can't stay in school because the voice in my ears is too loud. For ages, women have always strong. been at the forefront of domestic which, violence. No they the have been the voices they've been screaming their lungs out like about him. domestic violence. As and we as men, and they, and they accept their role, and they take action as victims of domestic violence. But we as men, we never join the conversation. We never speak about domestic violence. We never accept our role. We never even admit that we have a part in the Possible to deal with girls and women experiencing physical or sexual assault from a current or romantic partner at least once in their lives. I stay awake. Myth number three. People who don't say anything at the time must be lying when they make accusations years later. I stay awake because later. the voice in my ears is too Not loud. true. The smell in my nose is too strong. Your brain and my own is designed to protect like you. If it will do you harm to remember something before you are ready to and before you are able to cope with it, your brain will keep it from you. As if heterosexual people don't have a sexual orientation, In addition to that, as if men don't have a gender, this is one of the ways the dominant systems maintain and reproduce themselves, which is to say the dominant group is rarely challenged to even think about its dominance, because that's one of the key characteristics of power and privilege, the ability to go unexamined, lacking introspection, in fact being rendered invisible in large measure in the discourse about issues that are primarily about us. This is amazing how this works in domestic and sexual violence, how men have been largely erased from so much of the conversation about a subject that is centrally about men. When you get an education or have a job, how you spend your money, how many children you have and how you interact with them. And as men, we have to start accepting that role and take a responsibility for the actions that we contribute to women losing their lives.
it's like guys, a bunch of paint had been poured there and they like cut the top on. Uh huh. I kind of see it like a snail, cause it's like a little eye. Yeah. This guy's kicking. No castle, sadly. How are you living here? How am I living here? Oh, the castle? Without a castle. Coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it good? It's different. I mean, I can say that it's, it's not a good coffee, but it's, it's, uh, it's like it's uh, a really endless smell. So. That taste, so it's nice. Back off. <laughs> it's not a good coffee, but it's nice. It's not a good coffee, but but it's like something different. So. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I was sick. Yeah. Can you give me a sketch bit? Mm-hmm. Of course. But this is the small one. The small one? The big one's for me then. Here you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
been drawing paper? Mm -hmm. I thought this shape the whole time were like windows. No, no, just like the I like them better as windows. This one? Or
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be heavy. 